It was the craftsman who mastered the remarkable properties that go with specific materials. They were the first to journey towards the atom. The goldsmiths slowly refined their craft to take advantage of what gold alone could do. The gold worker begins with molten metal, but gold more than any other metal can be easily worked while it is cold. Urban Billmeyer in Chicago makes gold leaf, modern master of an old way. The steel rolls will stretch and thin that gold bar to a length of ribbon in an hour of work. Listen, you can hear the changes in the metal almost as well as you can see them. It's just the properties of gold. Gold is a fabulous metal. Well, oh, it, its uses, it, oh, there's just no end to the uses of real gold. It just has that peculiar property that it can be beaten thin. Comparative to other metals, it beats very easily. It stretches, maybe not as readily as a gold beater would like, but it does stretch. Gold will do things that other metals won't do. It can be used for anything without discoloring or tarnishing. It's just impervious almost to anything. It actually uh, can be exposed to the elements for 50 years without any change whatsoever. After close to 100,000 blows, the metal has become something without parallel. Gold leaf. A whole Bible whose pages were gold leaf would be no thicker than one single sheet of ordinary paper. Lillian Billmeyer handles it with the delicacy of a gentle breath.